up? I am at the Lock Ski Resort in Switzerland. I just got in this morning. I had a pretty long flight from Denver to Toronto. It was my first time in Canada and I was super excited to be there. And then from Toronto, I flew to Zurich and then I took a train to another train to a bus. And I had some of the most beautiful views ever on the train ride. I'm here for the locks open, which is going to be the last Olympic qualifier for me. So I'm going to find out basically after this competition, whether I'm in the Olympics or not. And then I head back to the States. Are you doing an interview? Uh, for the locks open? No, well, it's for my YouTube channel. Oh, YouTube channel. What's your, yeah. what's your name? Janice. <laughs> so now I'm waiting in the village to meet up with my friend who I'm going to be staying with. And then I'm going to head over to her house, get unpacked, and ready for the first day of practice tomorrow. All right, bye. Okay, so I met up with my friend Baba, whose <laughs> house I'm staying at in Fleems. And we just drove back to Locks after hanging out and kind of napping a little bit. Um, because we have the riders meeting tonight. You not get, me. Not her. She's uh, <laughs> hiring her on as Malta staff so she can come up to the start gate with me. So I'm gonna get my bib and get registered and all that good stuff. All right. All right, so we just got back to Baba's house from registration. So now I'm gonna go through the stuff that I got in my little registration bag. First off, my bib. I am number 24 at this event. And I got a t-shirt from the locks open. This is the coolest thing, this coffee mug situation. I'm really excited. Then I think this is a DVD, maybe. My credential. And this uh, rubber item for fun times that I'm probably not gonna use here, but it's a good souvenir. And I think that is all of the stuff. They said that practice is gonna happen tomorrow. We have four hours to practice and then we'll have practice again on Tuesday. And then potentially we'll compete on Wednesday, but there's a big storm coming in. So they're not too sure yet if we're actually gonna compete or not. But as of right now, practice is on. So I'm just gonna give it the best I can at practice and then See what happens for the competition. All right, it is the first day of practice and I am up here at Locks, slapping the pipe on the Palma. And we have such beautiful weather today, so I'm really trying to take advantage of it and get my tricks in because after today, the weather it's supposed to get really bad and stay bad for the rest of the week, so I'm trying to be as progressive as I can right now. I don't know where my coach is. I don't even know if he's in Switzerland. So I'm just trying to push myself and I'm having Baba film me, so I'm watching the footage that she's getting and trying to correct stuff myself. So far this pipe is pretty amazing. <laughs> out here I was not planning on going for that trick today I was gonna wait for tomorrow when the weather is gonna be more similar to the contest weather but since Baba was riding through the pipe filming me I was like ah, this is my only chance to get a cool close-up shot so I went for it and that's the first time I've ever tacoed the deck of a pipe my ribs kind of crunched a little bit 
and I'm gonna have to go see the physio later. <laughs> oh, okay, now I feel better. <laughs> yeah, hurting a little bit. So I think the rest of practice day, I'm just gonna work on my line doing straight airs and front threes and cap threes and just try to get my amplitude up. And then I'll get back into my actual contest run tomorrow. I did a couple straight air runs and my knee that I banged was kind of hurting. So I decided to pull my pants off and take a look at it because it was feeling swollen from outside my pants. It hurts pretty bad to touch and there's definitely a little bit of swelling going on. So I think I'm just gonna end practice today, let my knee rest and hopefully it feels better tomorrow. If not, I'm doing my run anyways and I can just kind of bite through the pain and deal with it because that's what I've done all season with my other knee. So yeah, <laughs> day one of practice is pretty much done for me. All right, I am on the chair, on my way up to the second day of practice. And it is currently snowing pretty hard. I guess halfway up the mountain, it's really windy too, so the top half of the mountain is closed. But not the pipe, we still have practice. I was kind of hoping that practice would get canceled today because I'm feeling really jet lagged. I've slept eight to nine hours the last two nights, but my body and my head feel so tired. I want to nap so bad. I just want to sleep all day, but trying to rally myself so I can get a good day of practice. Oh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I was just walking to the pipe and my knee did the thing where it feels like an electric shock went through it and so I ended up getting a snowmobile ride over to where the physiotherapist guy set up and I'm gonna get a little treatment from him and some knee tape and hopefully helps my knee and I get out to practice honestly doesn't look like today's gonna be a very good practice day anyways. The pipe is fully wide out. You can't see any definition between the walls and the ground and the sky. So, might not get much done today anyways. end up being just way too gnarly to get anything done in so I ate some food in our riders lounge and now I'm trying to find my way down the mountain to go home I usually always take the tram down so doing it in no light and powder is a little bit difficult but I'm gonna find my way home hopefully <laughs> all right Good morning guys, it is day three here in Switzerland, I think. Let's see, arrival, good day, bad day. Yeah, it's like my fourth day here in Switzerland. And we were originally supposed to compete today, but last night they decided that today would be a practice day for us instead and we'd compete tomorrow. And we couldn't even do a practice day today because the storm full on came in. Right now there's 70 kilometer an hour winds on the mountain and the snow is filling in so fast. I think there's only a handful of chairs even open and they're all the lower chairs on the mountain. So yeah, practice is out of the question, competition's out of the question, and none of my friends seem to have any idea of what to do with this day off. So I slept in, I'm just eating breakfast now at 1 p.m and I'm working on some stuff on my computer. Later, I'm gonna head over to the writer's meeting and that's about it. But you know, this is what you get when you choose to do an outdoor sport that is at the will of the environment. You can end up traveling halfway around the world and have a week full of bad weather and maybe not even have the competition happen. <laughs> so I'm really hoping there's a window of good weather that they can do the competition in Otherwise, I, I just took a trip to Switzerland for fun. 
and I don't get a shot to do my big run with the Crippler in it and to hopefully improve my spot for the Olympics. But it's really out of my hands. There's nothing I can do. So I'm just here for the ride and we'll see what happens in the next couple days. All right, I just got a ride into locks. So now I'm walking to where we have our meetings to find out what's gonna happen tomorrow because I heard that the weather is kinda just as bad as it was today.